Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Wednesday the 28th of February. The Reserve Bank toyed with the idea of increasing the official cash rate today, but decided to hold. Governor Adrian Orr's kept the benchmark interest rate at 5.5% as broadly expected. He says they talked about whether to apply a 0.25% increase. We certainly didn't discuss a cut, uh, but we, you know, the, on the table was a hold or do we need to do more? Heartbreak for News Hub staff with owner Warner Brothers Discovery announcing it'll close news operations after June. News Hub airs its news on TV3. Network's head Glenn Klein says they can't continue in the face of economic headwinds. And the company will become digital forward with a focus on three now. Staff have described tears and frustration at today's announcement. News Talk ZB's Lachlan Rennie spoke to staff outside the Auckland office. Trying to remain composed, but you can tell there's a lot of shock with them. Obviously, they're quite used to dealing with media, but they have very few of words and only had to say that just to work on the next show and to look forward, really. News Hub video editor Malana Habazi says feelings are mixed about the shock news. We do get a chance to give feedback as well. So, look, we're hopeful maybe something will change. Former TVNZ News boss and TV3 journalist Bill Ralston says the closure is catastrophic for journalism and television. He says he feels enormous sympathy for the staff. I wish them all well. It's a small market and they're getting smaller day by day. So they're going to have an uphill struggle. Chris Hipkins has given a seething speech in the House, slamming the government's unwinding Labour's smoke-free laws. The legislation had restricted retailers who can sell cigarettes and banned people born after 2008 from buying them. A bill scrapping the moves is now on its first reading. The Labour leader says having just axed the Māori Health Authority, the government's now passing a bill it knows will worsen Māori health outcomes. And the members opposite might be shaking their head about the fact that I'm angry about this. My question again to them is, why the hell aren't you? Because this is a bill that will kill people. Hipkins has also let fire on apparent moves to shake up firearms laws. Associate Justice Minister Nicole McKee has told media everything will be on the table when gun laws are revisited, including rules on semi-automatics. Hipkins referenced the mosque attacks, asking if the Prime Minister will tell its victims he intends to change the law to make the purchase of those types of firearms legal again. Two 19-year-old men are due in court today, charged with murder in relation to the death of a Hastings 24-year-old. Javon Aranui died in hospital with head injuries a day after an assault in the early hours of December 20 last year. In sport, Devon Conway's out of the first cricket test against Australia with the thumb injury suffered in the T20 series. The Black Caps opener is undergoing further tests this week. He'll be replaced by Will Young. Taha Kamara, the last fit first five standing at the Crusaders, gets a start in Saturday's Super Round clash with the Waratahs in Melbourne. Meanwhile, the Blues welcome back Akiriwani and Ofatunga Fasi from injury to face the Highlanders, but Rika Yuani and Finlay Christie will take All Blacks rest. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.